What's going on guys? Here for another shave and we're going to be using the Sudsy Soap Breeze Cola with Razzle Clay. Uh, <laughs> I remember when I did my first review on this, I said it had an earthy smell or no, I said it smelled like dirt. And I kind of get that same kind of um, like moist, wet dirt type scent. Anyways, this is going to be far, far from just like a shave. I have a lot of stuff to talk about. Not really, I have a lot of dirt on my phone too. Um, <clears throat> not that I just have a lot of stuff to talk about, but like, as the video title says, like what I'm gonna be saying is not necessarily controversial. Um, I think most people will agree, but there's also gonna be some, some of you that uh, when I say certain things, you may not like how I present them. And that's fine. We can have differing opinions and uh, anyways. <clears throat> so um, the reason I'm using this soap is because Linguafile and Kenny B voted for this. Uh, and then I had also two votes for Declaration Grooming, uh, their base. So I'll be, using, I'll be using that tomorrow. Declaration Grooming's base tomorrow and then I'll have three more soaps for you to uh, choose from on, on the next shave. So stay tuned for that. But this shave, we're, we're gonna also kind of do like a bowl out of thing here too. Here's my uh, my 3D printed bowl. Those grooves are very nice for getting uh, the lather whipped up nice there. All right, let me rinse off this. So is it difficult to be a good person? Um. It depends, you know, like, so something that happened today that kind of brought this whole thing up, um, was we ordered pizza today. My wife and I ordered pizza and the elderly gentleman that was delivering the pizza um, like we always tip well on pizza. I mean, um, I had, uh, we had tipped $10, you know, which, um, I'm not sure how much of that they get to keep. I don't know any of that, but you know, if we're going to order out or, or we go eat out, like we don't just tip 10%, we're, we're generous, you know? Um, so anyways, we tipped in like this, but I don't want this video to come off of or come off as look at the ladder on this, by the way. I don't, th this video is not a look at me or, or like a boasting video at all. Um, I'm, I'm more so worried about like what I'm seeing with the future generations because I feel like a lot of people have entitlement now and I'm only 30 years old. I mean, I'm not old. I'm not a boomer, or, you know, um, I think I'm in the millennial class. Um, but my values, my morals, everything is like old school. That's just how I was raised. Um, if you want a dollar, you better go and work, you know, um, no one owes you anything. Anyways, <clears throat> so the elderly, el el elderly gentleman brings the pizza and we ordered a pizza and I always get like a soda with my, with my pizza, just the fatty I am. It is what it is. And he gets here, and he gives me the pieces. <clears throat> and he gives me the pieces, and, and I say, you know, hey, did, did, um, did you get the soda? Because there was a soda on the order as well. And he looks at me, and he's like, uh, I went over the order very carefully. I didn't see a soda. Let me go check. So he goes to his car, he checks, and it's, it's on there. And um, he's like... Um, I have this other pizza. I've got to get it, but let me go get your soda real quick, and then I'll go. I'll, I'll bring your soda, and then I'll go deliver this pizza. And and, I'll, and he like brought the pizza to me and showed me that he had another delivery, which was in the opposite direction. So I'm like, you know, no, no, no. Don't worry. I'll I'll just call. It was it was Papa John's. So no, no, don't worry. I'll I'll call Papa John's and I'll ask them if they could just just reimburse um, uh, the drink. No, no big deal. You know, I, you know, it's not, I don't mind, you know, it is what it is. You keep your tip. It's not a big deal. And, uh, 
it'll be what it, you know, it'll be what it is. So he said, no, 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 I, I prefer you to not do that because I'll get in trouble. Um, and then he said, you know, if you don't mind, I'll go get it and I'll write it. Hey, and I was like, yeah, all right, go finish your delivery. And whenever you get time to bring it back, bring it back. And he said again, before he pulled out, you know, please don't call, please don't call them. And like, there was like a sadness there and it's like, okay, no problem. I'm not going to call him. Don't worry. You know, I don't know. Maybe he's forgotten it before. Maybe he's forgotten something before. Maybe they're kind of like, you know, this is your last time. I don't know. So anyways, wasn't a big deal. It's, it's not a big deal. Just a drink. Even if he missed a pizza, it's not a big deal. And he came back about, I don't know, about an hour and a half after, which was just like 45 minutes ago. And um, brought the brought the drink to me and I said, you know, I didn't really expect you to come back because I've had this happen before. Um, and sometimes using a, uh, a shave at with these blades, these blades came with my, uh, my Razor Rock Eco. I've had them say they're going to come back before they don't come back. And then like the next day I'll call and, and get, you know, it refunded. So that's kind of what I expected, but it was an old gentleman. So I expected it, but I also kind of would think that he had, you know, more, I don't know what you'd call it, not work ethic because they're work, whatever it's called. Um, so he came back and I said, you know, I didn't really expect you to come back. And he was kind of surprised by that. And he said, well, why not? And I said, you know, I've had other pizza, I've had other pizza places not come back after they said they would and that type of stuff. And he said, oh, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that to you. And I had five extra dollars on me. And I gave him the five dollars. He started crying. And, uh, <laughs> You know, well, it doesn't matter what I was feeling at that point in time, but I had some emotions as well. But anyways, so, you know, I ask, you know, what, you know, what's going on? Why are you crying? And he tells me he's doing Dave Ramsey, which I don't know if any of you know who Dave Ramsey is, but if you don't, I'm not going in detail. This isn't. A video for that but 100 percent, i was like oh man that's awesome like you know do you do you, do you like do you have a day job because <clears throat> saying he did dave ramsey was basically like meaning that he had a second that that was his second job he's trying to get out of debt and that type of stuff which i've done myself so i asked him you know do you have a day job like what, what do you do just trying to have a conversation quick conversation because i knew he had to go And he said he had been laid off and um, that Papa John's delivering pizzas was the only job he had. And he was trying to pay bills to not have his house foreclosed because he's not making enough to pay for his house. And, and this is kind of where the differing opinion comes in because you could say, well, if he can't afford his house, maybe he should have, I don't know, you know, bought a cheaper house, whatever. Like, but I gave him a number and Told him because sometimes um, the work I do, sometimes I just need like a laborer, like someone just to pick up a server, move it, that type of stuff. Although I probably won't use him for that, but because he's older, he has like you know he, he's 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 old. He has liver spots on his arms. You know he's he's an older gentleman, and um, 
So I told, I gave him my number and I got his and I said, you know, give me a call tomorrow, which is um, right now I'm shooting this on Monday night. So he's going to call me tomorrow and we'll see what we can do with getting him something that that'll help him out because I don't want that, that old guy to lose his, lose his house and. So I called my boss and my boss was perfectly fine. He said, you know, as long as he's willing to, to work and do what's asked of him, you know, then, then, you know, we have no problem with helping someone else. So, you know, but I, you know, I was just thinking like, you know, there's gotta be people out there. Right. And, and probably a younger version of myself would be one of those people that would have called Papa John's because the younger, the younger me was, uh, very crazy. And I'm only 30. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not like 60 years old trying to give you a lecture. I'm, I'm 30 years old. I actually just turned 30. And, um, well, I say just with the whole COVID thing. It feels like just in January I turned 30. So, yeah, you know, the younger me probably would have called Papa John's just out of anger. You know, and said... Hey, you know, I ordered a, I ordered a drink with my pizza. It didn't come, and uh, I want a refund. And <laughs> I can tell you, in the past, when I've done that, the younger me, they refund the whole thing. And when they do that, the tip that you leave also gets wiped away. So. Anyways, you know, how, how difficult is it? And helping someone out doesn't even have to be, it doesn't even have to be monetary. You could help someone out by smiling at them. Maybe they're having a bad day. Just smile at somebody. Say hello. You know, it's so, it's so weird. When I was younger, and again, <laughs> I'm, I'm talking as if I'm an old dude. But, it, but what I'm saying is very true. When I was younger, I remember going into the barbershop or a store or anything. And just like my parents didn't even know people like, but they're like, they're like, hey, how you doing? You look familiar. What's your name? Oh, oh, you, oh, you know him. You know, Robert too. Oh, oh, his brother. Yeah. And like, you just start up conversations. Nowadays, dude, you kidding me? That never happened. Even if you see people that you know, you might give them a smile or like one of these and you, and you keep on going. Nobody has time anymore. Nobody. Nobody has time. Nobody wants to make time. People have time. And that's another discussion, really. I think I just cut my nose. Yeah, I did. That's another discussion on, on the whole time thing, but it's just sad. The society we've become, the self-centered, self-loathing. We don't care about others. We don't care about you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's really sad because it's not, it's not difficult to be a good person. Oh yeah, I'm bleeding. You can probably see right there, a little cut. Yep, blood. It's not, it's not hard to be a good person, guys. Now, I would, I would venture to say probably the most of the, most of the people that watch my videos are probably good people. But like, all right, that's what we're going with there. Most of the people that, that watch my videos are probably good people, but 
even good people, even good-hearted people, still, from time to time, just feel they're too busy, myself included in this whole thing, feel just too busy, too caught up in their lives. Oh, I'm bleeding bad. That was a nice cut. It wouldn't be a shave with me unless there was blood involved. And you know the worst, the worst part about it? That I find myself falling in as well in my own life. Time with our grandparents. You know. That's that's a hard one. It's a tough pill to swallow. I had a grandmother. Um pass last year we spent we spent a lot of time together especially when I was younger me and this grandmother and um, you know it, I mean the, the, the old saying is true you absolutely don't know what you had until it's gone and that's that's an absolute fact It's an absolute fact. And the grandmother that's still around, I see often. Um, not as often as I should because I fall into that same, I'm too busy, I'm working, I'm this and that. And it's like, man. You better do what you can with with that grandparent now because when they're gone, they're not coming back, you know. But yeah, it's not hard to be just a just a good person. It's not. We just get caught up in ourselves. That's truly what it is. We get caught up in ourselves. That's it. And it's so sad to see, you know. So sad to see. I'm sorry. I don't mean for this to be a, a depressing shave. <laughs> if you're new to the channel and you're watching this, you know, Paul Gunn and I were talking about this earlier today, actually. And he was saying that, you know, because there, there's a video, a honing video that I want to upload, but and he was asking, when is that going to be uploaded? And I kind of told him, like with these shaving videos, I kind of shoot from the hip and I don't, I mean, I think about what I'm saying, but like I, there is no filter. And I feel like with a honing video, I kind of want to not be professional, but like be proper about it. Like, you know, because there's going to be new guys that watch that, that have never honed before. And I don't want to just go off on random rants. You know what I mean? Like I want it to be concise and, and uh, factual and... I want it to be, I want someone to be able to use that for knowledge. And the video that I created that I haven't uploaded yet, that I probably won't upload, in my opinion, is not that. It's just like, I mean, everything I'm saying uh, for me is true, but like, there's some stuff that could, could be done better. I'll say that. 
So. But Paul's like, you know, that's why we like, I guess we as in like some of my, some of my viewers is like, we like watching you because you do shoot from the hip. Like with me, what you see is what you get. It is what it is. Like the same as I'm talking to you right now is the same as I talk to you if you're in person with me. That's it. There is no other Thomas. Like this is me. And, um, yeah, but I don't know where I was, I had somewhere to go with that thought, but like there's so many things going through my head at the moment that it's kind of hard to, uh, to stay on track. Whew, that was a great shave. <laughs> Lingual file. Man, you guys are crazy. Like, you're saying to make, what you guys say? To make shirts and hats or something? That'll never work. You know why? Uh, we're using Summer Break History 101 just because, like, the scent of this stuff, to me, kind of resembles Suzy Soapery. I don't know. My olfactories are weird. Oh yeah. Are we bleeding real bad, by the way? It's always difficult for me to see without my glasses. The blood. So one little spot, more like weepers here. Weeper there. I definitely cut myself pretty bad right here in my nose. But yeah, that was, I mean, you're right. I do always say it. That was a great shape. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is how I like my uh, my videos to be kind of kind of joking around and goofy, but there's gonna be days when I'm not in a uh, or not even days, just times when my when my 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 mind, my mental state is just not in the mood. Um, but I, but I also want to shoot the video to, I guess, like, I don't know, bounce ideas or, 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 or talk or, you know, whatever, you know, vent, I guess some people would call it venting. And that's kind of what today was. Like, today wasn't the typical cheerful, just like spitball, shoot from the hip type, type of uh, shave for me. It was more like I had something specific I wanted to hit. I think I hit it. I probably didn't say everything that I wanted to say. When I was thinking about this video prior to shooting, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, so that's the shave, guys. Um, I had like, at the time of recording this, I think I had like 60 or 61 views on my last video, which is <clears throat> which is uncommon for, for me. Like typically I get between 30 to 50 views within a 24 hour period. But I had 60 views, I think, in less than 24 hours. So, like, I don't know if the channel is growing. If um, if some people watched that last video multiple times, I don't know. But if you're still hanging with me at 23, almost 24 minutes, holy cow. Yeesh. If you're still hanging with me, hit that thumbs up. <laughs> Drop me a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't. And the whole reason I say that and the whole reason most YouTubers say that is because... Well, I'm not like most YouTubers, but anyways, um, is because it like ranks you, YouTube ranks your videos based on an algorithm that they have. And that algorithm takes into account views, which is probably the biggest thing, comments on the video, likes on the video, and uh, subscribers to your channel. And, um, you know, I'm not crying about my growth or anything. It is what it is. I have my, uh, I have a loyal base and um, that's mainly mainly want to create these videos but anyways thanks for watching and uh be nice to somebody smile you know um especially in these times when you're wearing masks you know kind of, kind of like when you smile like through a mask it's kind of difficult to see your face but you can definitely see eyes like when you smile like at least for me um <laughs> your eyes kind of squint you know like at least, again, for me, like my eyes kind of squint up. You can see when people are smiling through a mask. 
anyways. I mean, even talking to somebody, even six feet away, if you have to yell, hey, how you doing? <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, have a good one, guys. I'll see you next shave.